water. Earth. Fire. Air. So, my good people, we're gonna start off with Avatar and the Legends of Korra. So, got this special edition. Special, special edition. Limited edition, actually. I'm like one out of a thousand people that got this. Figure not to flex, but you know, your boy got it in time, and yeah, I got it, man. Of course, I'm gonna feel special. So, we're gonna show you different angles. I said by we, I mean me, because there ain't no team. <laughs> so, this is different angles of the damn box. Here you go, you get the front. You get all types of angles of these boxes because, you know, it got special qualities. I like the design that they did on the box. I actually did keep the box myself, both boxes. They're both about the same height. Well, Chorus is a little bit bigger, but I'm just gonna show you like close-ups of, you know, Aang's box right now. As you see, the corner got clapped. I don't know how, but I guess so. Now you're gonna see Korra's. Both of them have two different, you know, designs. You got Korra in here, little temple. And he's different at the bottom. It says Avatar Korra Book and Limited Edition. Out of a thousand, you know? So here's both another angle of it. It has all the bendings. That's the fire style, wind style. I said style, I've been watching a lot of Naruto. <laughs> Water bending, fire bending, earth bending, air bending, you know what I'm saying? They showing all kinds of bending action, you know what I'm saying? Just like my back right now while I'm trying to get these damn angles, you feel me? So it's a nice box. Nice box to, you know, let's say you're moving out, you can put it right back in nice and easy, you feel me? Here's a nice close up of it. And now, here's a little Easter egg. When you turn on the flashlight, you know, Low key, not gonna lie, the symbols on the damn boxes start to glow. I don't know if it was me tripping, but if y'all see it, y'all let me know. Cause look, I'm looking at it right now, and like y'all see the damn bending showing up, glowing up. <laughs> Here's another angle of it. You know, it's funny. I have both of the boxes placed in the opposite ends, so but I had the Ang toy picture sticking out first, and the Korra picture from the cartoon or anime, whatever you want to call it facing forward but I should have had it placed the right way so you can see the anime side and you know toy side at the same time so now you've got a nice little close-up of what we got inside the box here how it looks when you you know have the flashlight on it's supposed to be a glow in the dark as well for both figures so yeah here's the cartoon side of Korra here's with the flash on you see the symbol on her chest glows a little bit. I don't know if it's me bugging, but I see it glowing when I got the flashlight on the damn freaking box. So here's another angle. Here's with the flashlight on with the other angle. I'm showing you all sides of the angles of these boxes so you can see the quality that they put on the box because, you know, box lives matter. Here's the top of the box. Oh, I just realized that I had it the wrong side. You see what I meant when I explained it earlier? Look at that. Now I got the toy side on the same sides. And then on the other side is the cartoon sides. <laughs> so now here's the correct way to have it next to each other, like I was saying. I didn't notice until, you know, that moment right there. Here's the bottom of it, and here's how it looks when you open it. it I don't know what number you are if you ordered this, but I was 792 with the with the Aang and I was 857 with the Korra bookend. So these are statue slash bookends. Look at my handsome ass self, making sure I got the angle right with me, looking tired as heck. I don't mind the, you know, <laughs> that action going on downstairs, but here we go. We got the box coming out the box and whoa, well, you know what I mean? Here we go, taking it out. And just in case for those who are curious, there's nothing in the box. All right, here's how it looks, nice and protected. It felt a little heavy. The box is a bit heavy. I don't know the weight, but yeah, be right back. All right, let me measure it. So for those who care how big and want to know how big and long it is, eight inches height. There you go. Measuring the other side, eight inches width and length because it's a cube. And now this is how it looks when you open it. It was a little tough opening it, not gonna lie. So that's how you know it was nice and protected. <laughs> if it was easy to open, remember it was not put well. That's how it looks like inside when you have the statue inside the little protection box. Nice and easy to put right back. You feel me? You feel me? 
is that avatar top box and the bottom box both boxes look like that but you know Korra's is a bit longer here you go the book end was really not really heavy but it felt bulky like you know when you pick it up it's nice and heavy i assume it's like five pounds or maybe less but you can feel the weight you know it tells you out of the thousand what number i am and there you go right there you will not be able to get this anywhere trust and if you do then you lucky here's the ang statue on the book end and now time to open the Korra book end box here you go that's how it looks Korra got the same situation going on inside nice and easy to put it back and now here's the book end right here uh, as well as, as you know it's the same it's the same they're both the same size it's just the statues are different sizes but there you go yep is the angles it was nice and quality it's like wood not like wood but it's solid i don't know what type of material it is but you tell me <laughs> and there you go it tells me the number of my cora and there's this st here's the cora statue right here there you go and just in case for those who are wondering the measurements for cora eight inches width and eight inches length and nine to ten inches height I couldn't really measure but it's a one of those two in between and there you go time to clean up all right here we go here's the bookend out the box and the statue as well there you go here's the quality I like the quality that they did with it because it makes me feel like you know I'm in a temple myself it shows all the bendings because you know avatars can bend all the bendings you know what I'm saying there's the water the earth air and fire you know what's funny a lot of people was reporting the earth bending symbol because they didn't know how to freaking draw it <laughs> but luckily we got it fixed so now it looks the actual design here's the side profile of it nice quality very nice quality it's like a damn earth wall you know what i'm saying nice design in the bottom nice design all around so the quality of it was beautiful just like how dark horses be doing their stuff not sponsored there you go, it's the hole where you put the, you know, statue in it. Here's my cute ass, you know, showing you the statue and how it looks next to me, I guess, if you want to see a human perspective. Alright. Height is 7, width is 6. 7, 6. Alright, so you already seen myself explaining the heights and differences of each. They're both the same. It's just the statues are different. And as you can tell, there you go. Here's the nice close-up with the flashlight on. This is a glow-in-the-dark statue. I don't know how to make it glow. I just thought, you know, turning off the light and having a flashlight on will make it glow. You feel me? But, you know, that's how it is. You can turn it around however placement you want to have it. You can take it out nice and easy to put it on the damn bookend. And there you go, there's the Aang bookend with the statue. Alright, time to do some measurements with the cord just to make sure, because you know, 7 inches height. You feel me? 6 inches length. And here's a bonus clip of my phone. Yo, y'all see that Appa right there with the whole gang right there? Yeah. Alright, here's Korra's bookend. It's exactly like Aang's. Just like Aang's. Same design, same material, same weight nice and bulky so you know oh by the way warning this does as you can tell my wood table right here was getting scratched the heck up under here's the bottom of the damn book end for both there you go evidence of what number i am out of a thousand limited edition as i've repeated many times cora can spin <laughs> and here's the how it looks while it's glowing my version of glowing it may glow brighter on your end if you know how to make it glow and here's the height difference between both avatars and how they look side by side yes like i was saying the wood material on my table was getting scratched here's the front view and the back view so be careful as you could tell i got scratches on the table because of the you know bookends so be careful just letting you know look the scratches on the table which comes to the bookends and here's how the flashlights on while you're looking at the back view, as you can tell, look at Korra glowing. Her ass is glowing, not literally her ass, but I mean the water, you know what I'm saying? And Aang's stripes is low-key glowing as well. Here you go, different angles, close-ups while it's glowing. 
like i said i don't know how to make it glow i'm assuming lights off and certain lights you know facing them will make them glow properly but this is how i made them glow because you know ghetto <laughs> ghetto reviews <laughs> is a different angle of it if you want to see cora up close and personal there you go she's nice and tall i like the way they did cora more than ang a nice little transition by your boy and there's ang's close up there you go there you go ang's head you know they didn't make it blue it's just white all around you know what i'm saying because he's in the avatar state so there you go hope you guys enjoy like and subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one